Hello, it's Ian Answer Gray here. I've just noticed something dodgy going on. This is what happens on a live video. There we go. Got the right camera. Hello, <laughs> welcome to the Confident Live Marketing Show. Great to be here. I'm very excited uh, to talk to you today about a new feature in Ecamm Live. This is episode 84, which is all about this new interview mode in Ecamm Live. So I hope you're excited about that. Let me know if you're watching the replay. Put hashtag replay in the comments. And of course, if you want to be notified about future episodes of this, if you want to join live, then all you need to do is go to confident.live forward slash subscribe. That's confident.live forward slash subscribe. Well, this is fantastic. Um, today, I am going to be talking about a new feature in Ecom Live, which is all about bringing in guests live onto your show. Um, so if you are excited about this, let me know in the comments if this is something that you've played around with. Uh, because before, Ecom Live required you to use Skype. And that is still a feature. If you want to use Skype, uh, then you can bring people, you can bring in guests via Skype, which is a great way of doing it but not everyone likes Skype. Let me know if you do like Skype, by the way. If you like Skype, put it in the comments. I'll be very interested about that. Um, yes, so this is a new feature that allows you to bring in people via the web. So you give your guests a link and I'm going to, I've got some guinea pigs today who are gonna be trying this out with me. What could possibly go wrong? Hmm, uh, I'm sure nothing can go wrong. Uh, it's all gonna be absolutely fine, I'm sure. So. Uh, Ecamm Live has uh, just brought this out. It's in beta testing. Um, so I'll give you some more information about that and how you can uh, download it and play around with it. There's a free trial. Uh, this will only be in the pro version. So I'll, I'll let you know a little bit more about that in a bit. So as always, if you are watching live, welcome. If you have any questions, just pop them in the comments. I would love to love to hear from you. If you've got any questions or any thoughts on this um, and the episode, this is episode 84. So the show notes for this will eventually be at iag.me forward slash 84 when this podcast episode comes out. Um, so that will be, be fantastic. Well, I don't know about you, but I think it's time to get on with the show. So let's do it. I'll see you just after this. This is the Confident Live Marketing Podcast. Confident Live Marketing Podcast with Ian Anderson Gray, helping entrepreneurs level up their impact, authority, and profits through the power of live video. Gain confidence in front of the camera, confidence with technology, and confidence with the content and marketing. Together, we can go live! Hello and welcome to episode 84 of the Confident Live Marketing Show. My name is Ian Anson Gray. This is episode 84. You can find the show notes for this at iag.me forward slash 84. Well, this is really exciting because today, in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about a new feature from Ecamm. Uh, they have released a new feature called Interview Mode. And I'm going to walk you through that and how you can use that today. because Bringing in guests to your show used to be really difficult. Back in uh, 2016, you'd have to use the likes of Skype or Zoom and then capture your screen and even use some complicated audio routing software, which, yeah, not great. Um, anyone watching live who can remember doing that? Well, in Ecamm, re until recently, the only way to bring in guests to your show uh, was via Skype. And if you don't know what Ecamm Live is, we've talked about it on the show before. Ecamm Live is a live video tool for Mac. Uh, so before you had to bring in your guests via Skype. Now that's not necessarily a problem, but Skype can be buggy. And also you get that horrible Skype logo on the top right. And also it sucks all your processing power as well. So if you're trying to go live and juggle Skype at the same time, that's not great. And quite frankly, a lot of people don't like Skype. If you like Skype or you don't like Skype, let me know in the comments. Don't be shy. I would love to know what you think about that. Um, so it's awesome news that Ecamm Live have released this beta version of the new interview mode. This is on the pro version and it allows you to bring in guests 
via a web link. And it's so easy. Well, I hope it's easy. I, I mean, I've been using it for actually the last month or so. We're going to test it live on the show with some guinea pigs, which is going to be great. And also, the the quality is awesome. The quality of um, bringing in the guests is really, really great. So that is going to be really fab. I can't, I can't wait to, to show you all about that. But it's time to bring in my sponsor for today, which is Content 10X. And I've just realized the camera is, or for some reason, is always choosing my FaceTime camera, which I don't want. I want my nice camera. So there we go. Content and X are the proud sponsors of the show. They are the complete content repurposing service for entrepreneurs. And so if you want to find creative ways to create more content without having to spend more time, Content 10X are for you. They will take that one live video or blog post or whatever it is, like, like a podcast, and they will turn it into a plethora of different content. So this is a great way you create your live video. You could do, say, one a week, and they will turn it into a blog post or a podcast or into video babies and explode it into a plethora of new platform-specific on-brand content. Now, if you don't want them to do it, if you want to learn how to do it yourself, they will teach you how to do it. They've got a blog, podcast, book, and toolkit. Just go to content10x.com. And a new service they've got is called LinkedIn 10X, which is really amazing if you want to level things up on LinkedIn, which I think a lot of us do. Uh, LinkedIn is such a powerful network. And so you can create that one video per week and Content 10X will then turn it into lots of amazing content on LinkedIn so that you can really level things up, become much more of an influencer on LinkedIn. They're really smart, responsive, creative, and effective. And if you want to take the stress out of content marketing, I think we all do, but we want to do that, then Content 10X are the people that you want to go to. So definitely check out Content 10X at content10x.com. So thank you so much. Well, I can see some fabulous people watching live. I can see that uh, the lovely Melissa Noel is watching from Sandbatch. I was in Sandbatch just a week ago. Was it a week ago? Uh, I'm getting new glasses. So I will unveil that maybe next week when I get them. Um, that's going to be a little bit scary. Um, so yeah, welcome, Melissa. Hope you're doing well. Let me know how you're doing. And Andy Foote is watching on LinkedIn. Fantastic news. And <laughs> Andy says Skype is rubbish. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's it's not great. And Tim Lewis says Skype is okay if you don't have to use it with another program. And I think I agree with you, Tim. That's part of the problem. It's it's difficult. It's okay on its own, but if you're wanting to do, use Ecom Live and another app at the same time, it's it's difficult. And you know, for me at the moment, just to let you know what I'm doing, uh, you know, I I wouldn't necessarily recommend this to everybody, but I've got Adobe Audition running because I want to. I turn this into a podcast, so I want to record that. I'm using Ecom Live, obviously. I'm also using Restream as well. So I'm streaming this to Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, YouTube, Periscope, all, all these different places. Um, and so when I had to use Skype at the same time, it was a real problem. And quite often my guests had issues with that. So um, that's, that wasn't great. Melissa says, don't like Skype, prefer Zoom. And I think that's that's the common, common thing. Um, oh, wonderful. Lisa Monks is watching from Down Under. Hope you're doing well, Lisa, it's been an age since we've spoken. I hope you're doing well. Uh, let me know what you think about this new feature from Ecamm. So just a, a few points just before I get started and taking you through, because I know you're all really excited about sh uh, me showing you this new feature from Ecamm Live. Uh, but just to let you know, the podcast uh, comes out every Friday. You can find that out at iag.me forward slash podcast. But I'm changing something at the moment. So it normally comes out every Friday. For the next three or four weeks, I'm testing something out. It's going out um, on Tuesdays, i.e. today and Fridays, so twice per week. So if you don't want to miss any of those episodes, just go to iag.me forward slash podcast or just go to your favorite podcasting app and search for the Confident Live Marketing Show. I'd love to know what you think about that and if you've got any ideas for topics for this live show or the podcast. In future episodes of the show, I've got some exciting guests this Thursday. I've got Kim Garst on the show. Next week, I've got Annette McDonald from Easel. Uh, the week after that, I've got Michelle Levitt from Heil Microphones and so much more. And I'll be doing some more videos as well. But today's episode is more of a tech episode. We're going to dive into live streaming tools. And specifically, I'm going to be diving into Ecamm Live. 
Uh, and so I want to just show your attention to a, a blog post that I wrote. I'm going to put it in the comments and this will be in the show notes. This is my top live video tools. I compare basically all the major live video streaming tools out there. So if you're looking for the best live video tool for you, definitely check that out. Just go to iag.me and just scroll down. You'll see this, the top live video streaming tools. And there's a link in the comments uh, because I go through Ecamm. I go through all the other channels as well. But this month, there's a launch of something new and exciting. Ecamm Live, they launched, I think it was the beginning of 2017, or certainly the, maybe the end of 2016. Um, the twin brothers, Glenn and Ken Aspaslar, they have been on the show uh, before. They are the founders of Ecamm Live. And if you want to listen to that episode or watch it, all you need to do is go to iag.me forward slash 18. And also just to let you know, if you want to download Ecamm Live, there's a free trial for this. All you need to do is go to iag.me forward slash Ecamm Live. Definitely check that out. So as I said before, before you had to bring in your guests via Skype. Now you can still do that. And on the standard edition, that's going to be the only way you'll be able to bring in guests. But on the pro, there's now a new way that you can bring in guests, which is really, really awesome. And I also just want to let you know that if you want to download the beta version of this, translation from my American friends, beta version, but I call it beta, so that's just the way it is, I'm afraid. Uh, you can go to, you need to join their Facebook group. So I will put this in the comments, but it's basically facebook.com forward slash uh, groups forward slash ecam live beta. I had to check that. So yeah, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash ecam live beta. Definitely check that out. You can download that. Um, Sasha is saying, joined the party late, but just heard you were talking about Skype. Have not used for ages. Always um, use Zoom as I like to record my client calls. And although actually, Sasha, yeah, that's a really good point. Although you can actually record into Skype, it's just not as easy as Zoom. So totally for, for, um, for most of my client work and other stuff, I'm using Zoom. But for Ecamm, you don't need to use that anymore. So let's, let's dig in, shall we? Let's let's dig in. Right, I can see. Oh, I can see somebody is already joining. This is exciting. So hopefully, right, I'm going to go into live demo mode. So hopefully you can see this on the screen. Normally with Ecamm, when you're sharing your screen, you can't see this. Now, let's, let's see. Is this going to work? Yes, it is. It's going to work. Cool. So <clears throat> with Ecamm Live, you've got the main window there. Uh, so you can see me there. Um, that's basically what I what I'm seeing on the screen. Uh, I've also got on the left hand side, I've got my scenes. So I've got loads of different scenes depending on the show that I'm, I've got. So at the top, I've got my CLMS, which is my uh, Confident Live show. Down here, I've got my Restream show, and I've got lots of different uh, scenes that I can change between. So at the moment, I'm currently on me. I can go to comments. Uh, I can do my, my opening videos and things like that. I'm not going to do any of that now. Um, but just to let you know, this, uh, I connect my Stream Deck with this. So I'm not sure I can hold this up. I'll hold my smaller stream deck up to the screen. And uh, basically, you can you can you can assign different keys for the different scenes and change very easily. Uh, then down here, I've got my overlays. Uh, so that's really cool. I can add, for example, I can add this on my screen like this confident.live. I've got sound effects. So I can do things like this. Is it going to work? No, it's not. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that's why I have not got my sound effects volume up. So that's the other thing. You've got sound levels down here as well. Um, but yeah, if I, if I click this button, you've got sound effects. And then over here, we've got, uh, and this is important when I come on to guests, because you can actually change all of these settings with your guests. So I've got, um, I can add green screen. So you can add green screen to guests. I've got zoom and pan. So I could zoom in like this. Whoa. Uh, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, and you can do that with your guests just so that you get your guests looking really good. Um, so that's good. Just to, I'm just trying to adjust myself now. And on the pro version, you've also got things like picture settings. Um, you can mirror yourself. You can rotate 180 degrees and do lots of cool things like that. So that is, that, that's just a very quick overview of, of, um, of how it works. Um, how Ecamm Live works. Now, I'm just going to just put in the comments. 
um, to see if I can get some people in. I can see that Tim Lewis is waiting very patiently. Tim, I will bring you in just in a second, but I want to do, uh, what do I want to do? Uh, so I can see that Katie is here as well. Uh, yeah, what I wanted to do is just show you show you how it looks like on the guest side, and then we can talk. Ooh, that's the wrong thing. So I'll share the screen in one second. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So let's share my screen. Now, is that sharing? I think it is. Okay, so when you log on as a guest, the first thing that you'll need to do is allow your microphone and camera. So I'm just going to do that. Um, I'm going to choose my FaceTime camera. That's that's fine. And I'm going to, I'm not going to choose my microphone. Am I, or maybe, I, okay. And I'm going to put Ian there. Join. I'm going to mute myself immediately. And then I, you might not be able to hear that sound, but I hear a little sound uh, that shows, um, that tells me as the host that I've got some people coming in. Right, let's do this. Let's go back to my camera. I'm going to close that down. Okay, cool. So I hope you're enjoying this so far. Let's go into live demo mode then, shall we? Let's go to live demo mode. Oops, that's the wrong button. Juggling too many things at the same time. Okay, live demo mode. Okay, so I'm going to bring in, uh, let's see who I've got. Uh, Tim, let's bring in Tim because Tim was very patient. So let's bring in Tim. Hello, Tim. Let's bring him in to guest one. (laughs) Hello. Hello, Ian. It's, How are you uh, doing? It's not too bad. Um, it's interesting with Ecamm's guest thing that um, I'm used to using StreamYard, and yeah. it doesn't it doesn't give you any preview of what's going on on the show. Uh, so I was watching you on my phone, so I suddenly had to go from phone back to oh, here. I to see. Get me live. That's right. That's right. Now I just I just realised I had you on picture in picture mode. So, uh, but there we go. We, yeah. So you can do lots of cool things. So that's cool. Yeah. So, so yeah. So you, you, how easy did you find it coming in? You obviously had to jump off watching it live. Yeah, it's extremely, um, it's extremely easy to join. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a similar kind of functionality to StreamYard, but there's a lot of. I could see from I, I went back to watching your stream on uh, my phone, and uh, yeah, I can see there's a lot of other functionality in Ecamm that there isn't in StreamYard. So it's kind yeah, of yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot more because obviously. Uh, you know, there are web web interfaces, web tools like uh, StreamYard, and, and there's uh, Restream Studio as well, and there's BeLive. Um, so, but with Ecamm, you've you've got a lot of other stuff behind the scenes as well. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in. I can see that Katie Simpson is is waiting very patiently. So, I've never done this before, Tim. So, this is we're gonna bring in more guests. So, I'm gonna click Ooh. on that. But with Ecamm, you've got. Oh, I can hear a, a bit of an echo, but I, I think I can see. Katie now. Now is Katie coming in? Oh, I need to I, I need to manually add her, don't I? There we go. Hi Katie. Hello. This is exciting. <laughs> Fabulous. It's brilliant. This is really good. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go off live demo mode because I think I'm getting a little bit of lag here. So let's go yeah. back to actually let's go back to that and then I'll bring you both in again. And that I'm going better. to actually <laughs> hold on one second. Let's do that. So there we go. So yeah, when you have three people, this is my, my only kind of slight issue with Ecamm is that when you have three people on, it's three three in a row. Um, so you can't you can't alter that. But what you can do, so if I just go to Tim now, so I'm just going to adjust you, Tim. I hope you don't mind. So if you're listening to the podcast, I'm just going to be uh, making Tim's <laughs> camera a little bit. So if you've got an overlay, you can then um, just adjust the way people look. So we could... Make uh, I've made Tim a little bit smaller there, and I could do the same with Katie. So let's just do that, uh, and then I could obviously I then need to make myself. Now you can do all of this. You can change all of this uh, beforehand, which is great. And that's yeah. something that some of the web tools uh, like Restream Studio or, or um, Streamyard you can't you can't actually do. So this is great. We can now add add an overlay on top of that. Um, so I'm going to ask you, Katie, in a minute how you how you felt about how that felt coming in. But two guests is not enough. We're going to have to add uh, another guest. Mm-hmm. So this is the first time I've ever done this. So I'm going to add Claire. Claire Yosa. Hello. Hello. How are Just one, you? one second. Hello, Claire. There we go. <laughs> I can see you all. Hello. This right, is excellent. <laughs> so can you? You can presumably you can all hear each other. 
I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. good. Ooh. And there's no <laughs> echo, which is great. So as I was saying, I can just I can adjust everyone's uh, video Ooh. manually. So we'll probably want to do this beforehand. Claire, you're looking good because I didn't adjust you <laughs> before. <I'm> gonna... <laughs> yeah. So and and I think Claire, you're going to be very happy with this because when mm. you were on the show, on my show, you were kind of one of my first guests. We had some yeah. problems, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we did. There was nothing we could do to fix that, was there? <laughs> no. And the problem was actually related to Skype. <laughs> now, then surprise. Because <laughs> we've all loved Skype and Skype for business over lockdown, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe not. Yeah. So no, there we not. go. So I was going to ask you, Katie, um, this is actually the first time that we've we've actually <laughs> spoken face to face. This is awesome. And uh, I know that you've you've uh, you're a big fan of the podcast and the show, so it's great. Mm. And we've also got something in common, in that uh, we we both have a singing background, don't we? La la la, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is great. And actually, Claire, you you do a bit of singing, don't you? Hey, yeah, in the bath normally. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, used to be in the I used to be in the county youth choir, and I can hold a decent tune. Oh, there oh, we go. That's great. That's great. Yeah. How about you two? <laughs> I'm purely drunk and karaoke. <laughs> Yay, <best way. laughs> there we go. Well, maybe maybe we need to do karaoke on the show sometime. Um, yeah. But but yeah, Katie, um, how did you how did it uh, feel for you when you uh, so you clicked on the link? I gave you a link, and then you clicked on that. And how easy was it? Yeah, it was really easy. I'm glad you told me the different steps to do so that I knew exactly what was coming up was what it was supposed to come up but it was really easy just click on a a green button can't remember what it says join it says join um and then you um have to agree there's a little pop-up box that comes up you have to agree for your camera and microphone to be um used and then you type in your name where it says your name click here it's obvious and um, then you select your microphone and webcam and then that's it. Yeah, it's quite a small box on my screen. I've got a big mm. screen and and we're quite small on the screen. It's not yeah. filling the screen at all. But, no, um, no. But I, th I think yeah. that might be that might be so I'm going to just add everyone back. So what I would normally do is um, oh. so if you're listening to the podcast, I'm just uh, going between people. I haven't set these scenes up in advance. And so I would I would normally do that if I had four guests. Uh, but yeah, that's interesting. So obviously, at the moment, this is in beta. They'll they're always up, up for, for listening to ideas. And so I think that's a really good one, Katie, just that it might not always be big enough, depending on the screen that you're on. Mm. I don't know. What do you think, uh, Claire and Tim? It's working cool for me. I'm on my 22 inch ish, 21 inch Mac. If I was on my 27th, I might well be with Katie wanting to see more of you. But the whole process was really smooth and easy. Mm. And I can imagine it's much simpler for a guest who's maybe not as tech aware than something like Zoom. Yes, I agree. Mm. I'm, I'm going to have to get everyone back again. again. So uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, I've done it. Where, who am I missing? I'm missing Katie. There we go. So I can yeah. see that Louise is here. So I, I agree with you. I think. Um, it's it's one of the problems that I had when I wanted to bring on guests on the show was giving them the giving it asking for the Skype ID and then mm -hmm. I was just yeah. waiting for them to go really do I have to Skype and then there were problems and, and it wasn't just you Claire there were lots of yeah. issues across the way um, now all I need to do is give them a web link and this also I haven't tried this I wouldn't recommend that you bring in guests no. this way but you can bring in your guests through their phones and through tablets. So this should work, not tested that, um, but that also works there as well. So I'm gonna bring in Louise Brogan onto the show now. What, let's see, uh, add to the right. How's this gonna work? Five people. Find out. Right, okay, let's add Louise. Hey, oops, she's gone. Oh, Louise. Oh, Louise. <laughs> there we go, you're there. Hi, Louise. I'm How are you doing? I'm here. I'm great. Awesome. So when you have five on the screen, it kind of fits the bottom three. Bottom, uh, The bottom is three people. The top is two people. Yeah. Um, so uh, this is the maximum, I believe, that you can have on Ecamm. 
Uh, so you can, mm. I know that some of the web tools allow you to have up to 10 people on screen. Do you think, yeah. uh, just out of interest, so I'll ask you, Louise, um, yeah. thank you for joining. Do you think, do you think that's enough people? I mean, do you think you're, you're likely to want more than five people on screen at the same time? No, don't no. think so. I've made delayed. Am I delayed to you guys? <clears throat> Yeah. yeah yeah that's oh. that's the good that's, that's good point thing, Louise. so um one thing that i've found is that when you as when you're the guest you're seeing exactly what i see and so there's gonna be a slight delay between what my computer's sending that stream to eco and then you seeing mm -hmm. it so it can be a little bit disconcerting for you as guests and i think that would be one thing that i would probably want to say to my guests beforehand be aware there will be a bit of a delay and try not to look at the look at the screen too much <laughs> okay i'm just gonna look at you ian and nothing else like that'll work <laughs> yeah maybe that's a good idea i don't know but look at the look at the camera look at the camera oh uh, okay but... yes of course <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly um so K katie are you seeing a delay as well a little bit a bit of a lag yeah yeah and i used this the other day for the first time which is very exciting and i um, brought somebody on and she was really quite disconcerted about the fact that she was talking at a different time from what she could see. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so. yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know whether there's something that they can improve upon, but it's they are using, for what I believe with Ecamm, they are using a, a new, uh, well, not a new, but a, a high quality uh, service to, to, to get the most out of this. So uh, it might be partly to do with that. And I, I think you would all agree that quality, the quality of the output is, is better. You, you'd rather have that um mm. that you know and the lag then then uh no lag and not so good quality so uh, yeah. i think that's good so yeah. not being able to come on camera at all as we did well sorry claire i missed you <laughs> missed what not, you said. not being able not being able to come on camera at all as we it, it, exactly exactly <laughs> um so so there we go that's good the the other thing that uh guests can see now at the moment uh mm. you lovely people won't be able to see any comments uh, just because of the, the system that I'm using, I'm using, I'm, using a, mm. I'm actually bringing this into Restream Studio. So, but normally you'd be able to see comments on the right, which I think is is really useful for guests. You've mm. also got dark mode. So, can you all see this on the bottom mm. right? <coughs> now, I I would normally not. I don't really get excited for things like this, but I think dark mode is particularly useful if you don't want to get that glare in your face. Yeah. So, mm. so that's all working. Are we live yet, Ian? No. We are live, yes. This is live. You we are, are live on the show, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do not swear, as I found, Jenna. <laughs> I thought I made that. So, I made... <laughs> so, Ian, we know that, but if you were interviewing somebody who didn't, for us, it says pre-show, the host can see yeah. it you. It doesn't mention anything about us being live to the world. So we know yes. we are, because yeah. you probably would be. But otherwise, we might be doing yeah. all sorts of embarrassing things and not realising the world's watching. That's Well, that, that, that is true, <laughs> but I... I I thought I did let you know. And in interest of you, yeah, sorry. Really? sorry, I'm not good at paying it's attention. Just, Apologies. Yeah, it's, just what it's, it's, what it, it's what it says on our screen as as audio as um, yes. Pamela. And and normally you it would say live, but because I'm using another tool yeah. at the same time, that's why it says preview. So that's a really good point, Claire. Thank you for bringing that my attention to that. Um, so that that's really cool. The other thing that's really good. Now I know none of you have green screens mm. with you at the moment, but if you did have a green mm. screen, I could swap out your your green screen with mm. whatever. Uh, which I can put one up behind me right now. Well, Do we could try that. Up? Yeah, if, yeah if, if, if that's okay. Um, why not? Why not? Let's just try this live on the show. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Maybe we could mute Claire while she's doing it. Yeah, I could. I can, I can mute Claire. Can I mute? Actually, it's a really good point. Can I actually mute Claire? No, I can mute all of you, but I don't think I can mute Claire, which is an interesting point. So maybe that's something that we need to look into with the... So uh, there we go. So what I'm going to have to do with Claire... Make it right, excuse the tweaks and shouts then. My dog's been on there. Uh, lying. <laughs> she got it all tangled up, bless her. <laughs> Oh, do you see that? Right, let's zo let's zoom in. Oh, that was cool, yeah. Right, let's zoom in, zoom Cla uh, Claire <laughs> in a bit. And there we go, brick wall. That's not very exciting. So, if you're listening to the podcast, what I've done now is so Claire has put a green screen behind her, uh, and I've switched on green screen. So, if I go to live demo mode now, you should be able to see this. 
Um, so I've I've selected Claire there. I've put on green screen. I've ch uh, changed the fade level, and then I can uh, select the backdrop. So we could have a colorful shelf. Let's see what that looks like. That looks nice. <laughs> uh That's palm awesome. trees this this is maybe not so good because this is going to make us yeah, all want to go somewhere yeah. or we could or we could have a, a tunnel which is a bit mm. freaky. who would okay, choose then. a tunnel uh exactly no <laughs> nobody nobody so so i think what you'd want to do here let me go off live demo mode what you'd want to do here is you'd, you'd obviously talk with your guests if they want to use a green screen they would need to send you the green screen that they want or you have a chat about that um beforehand um because you have hosts have to do that it's not on the guests side of things um so uh oh, okay. did any of you have any any questions uh on on ecom live i was going to cover a few more things but just uh before i let you go and get on with other things because i know you're all busy did you have any other any any other other points or any uh questions about ecom live the interview mode no. i love that you can zoom in <laughs> because often when you're doing a live video mm. interview you might find the person hasn't thought their background through yeah. particularly they're busy so being able to do zoom and pan like you can on what you can could make a huge difference on the quality of the output yeah yeah definitely mm. thanks for that claire Tim, how about you? And you yeah i mean it's it's good um to say I, i'm used to this in Dreamyard, which is very regimented in it's like you've got particular structures and things i think but the lag is noticeable um, yeah, but mm. I, I don't mind not looking at myself doing interviews anyway. So that's really a tremendous work. Yeah, like, likewise, likewise. Yeah. Um, definitely, Katie. How about you? But you were going to say something. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say you can change all of the guests' um, color and uh, whatever. Yes, that that's a good point actually. So this again, this is on the pro version. So if I go back to here, I can. Uh, so I, I'm going to send someone Claire. I'm going to use Claire as the guinea pig again. Hope you don't mind. But, but we make make you really bright or darker. So actually, oh, wow. so that's better. We can change the color temperature. Uh, so that's yeah. That, we don't want that uh, tint. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I think we want that now, saturation. I quite often use that. So we can make, for example, we can make Claire black and white, or just more colorful. Uh, and then gamma is is again more contrast there. Um, so yeah, that's a really good point, Katie. That's I quite often yeah. use that uh, as well. Um, so there we go. I think I'm off demo mode. And Louise, any thoughts from you? Yeah, um, I don't because you might have talked about this before I came on. But can you bring comments up on screen and stuff like that? Well, you, yeah, you certainly can. You can do that in eCam. Um, so, okay. but because I'm not broadcasting using eCam, I, I I can't do that within eCam. But I can certainly do that on. Um, on restream but uh yeah you absolutely can and you will be able to see the comments as a guest as well so, okay cool yeah so it's all good Fabulous. Fantastic. Well, i'm really impressed mm, mm. it is really good and uh, so definitely check this out and uh yeah thank you for coming on the show it's been uh, been great to see you all <laughs> Wonderful. thank you for having me thank you. Fabulous. thank you i'm going to chuck oh. you out now in a nice way <laughs> So there we go. Chuck them all out. And, and interestingly, you can see, uh, if so if you're listening to the podcast, you won't be able to see this, but we've got some placeholders there. And this is what uh, I should have done before the show is I, I can actually um, put some placeholders. I can create all the scenes ahead of time. And also I can assign the name that the person puts in their When they click on the guest link, they enter their name. I can actually get their name to go come on the screen there, which is really good as well. So let's uh, let's just go back um, to here. So uh, what was I going to say? So let's just go back there. Yeah. So just a few extra extra things. And if you've got any questions or any thoughts on this, that would be great. One thing I was going to do, which I've I've forgotten to do, is that just to te uh, to test the uh, screen sharing facility. So guests can actually share their screen, and that they end up um, that comes up in the interview mode. So I can highlight their their screen as well, which is great. So interview uh, mode also allows you to uh, for guests to share their screen. Um, the green room, so they are not going to come onto the show until I bring them in. But they, if they're in the green room, they can see what's happening in the live show. They can see comments. They can see the live stream. They can see the viewer count as well. 
it's really high quality, as I, I hope you can see. Now, this is only available in the pro version of Ecamm Live. And because of the service that they're using, because it's a really high quality format, it's not unlimited time. But it, what they're giving you is pretty, um, I think it's pretty generous. Uh, you get 20 hours per month if you're on a monthly plan or 240 hour, two, 20 hours per month for the monthly or 240 hours per year if you're on the annual plan. Um, and if you need more than that, then you can pay for, for extra. Um, and this is, uh, this is the amount of time that you have somebody on the interview mode for. So uh, that's the only thing to consider, but I think 20 hours a month is pretty good. Um, and as I say, you can plan your entire interview in advance with, place, with guest placeholders, which is really good, uh, which I really, really like. Uh, I'm just going to check my messenger because, uh, yeah, Tim says, thanks for having me on the show. Um, and it was great. Thank you, Claire. Thank you so much, Claire, for, um, for testing out the green screen because that was really, really good. So um, fabulous. Ian Brody's here watching. I just joined late. Did you get any feedback issues on the audio? No, I didn't. So I know a few people have had issues with echo and things like that. I haven't had any issues with that. Having said that, I wear earphones. I always ask my guests to wear earphones. Um, I have to check with, with everyone who was on whether they were wearing earphones. Uh, in fact, let me just add in the comments. Um, so thanks so much. Um, out of interest, were you all wearing headphones or earphones? So let's see if they get back to me because uh, that would be really, really interesting to know. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, so so Ian, no, I haven't had any issues. Have you had any issues? I'd love to know about that. Uh, Katie says that was lots, tons of fun. Uh, so hopefully, Katie, we could have a bit more of a chat. That was just a very quick, uh, quick uh, chat with you. And I have to say, Katie, I love your background. I'm very, very jealous of that. Um, we need to talk about backgrounds sometime. Uh, so Louise was wearing earphones. And uh, let's see what other people say. Um, Katie was wearing earphones as well. Uh, don't know about Tim. Um, oh, yes. And Louise said, why? I asked if it was like I was going to get my turn on my ring light. <laughs> yeah, so apologies for that. So normally when you go live in Ecamm, uh, the guests will know when you go live. And I'm going to be uh, doing that on Thursday. We're just using um, Ecamm Live for that. So that's cool. Fabulous. Well, I think that's it for this week, unless anyone has any questions. Uh, just to say uh, this live show, I go live every Tuesday and every Thursday. So th Tuesday is 11.30 a.m. in the UK. Thursday is 4.30 p.m. in the UK. And if you want to be notified for future episodes, all you need to do is go to confident.live forward slash subscribe. My handy Facebook Messenger bot will uh, let you know how you can uh, get basically subscribe to all future episodes of that. And of course, don't uh, forget the podcast as well. So this is coming out every Tuesday and Friday now. So that's at iag.me forward slash podcast definitely check out that i can see melissa thank you and ben amos is here from down under is it an easy process for non ecam users to join the video as a guest absolutely it is um and i'm i'm i'm, sh I'm pretty sure that not every all of my guests today had ecam uh, ecam live is only for mac so uh, the good news with this interview mode is they don't have to have a mac you can use a pc they can use a mac they can also log on via uh, their Android or iPhone as well, or tablet. It's really easy. It's purely through the web. And so if you missed that, Ben, uh, I, I demoed a little bit earlier. I showed how it actually looks on the screen. Um, in fact, why don't I just, again, just show you that uh, because it's very, very easy um, just to do that. So um, it basically, all, all that happens is that, uh, so let's just get that on the screen that working uh okay so let's go with that so hopefully you can see that so for the first thing you you basically give them this special link uh they then need to click allow to allow their microphone and camera they type the name in there they choose their their webcam on the microphone it's really easy they click on join as a guest i'm just going to click mute uh, and so i'm it now says waiting for host the other thing to say is at the right hand side 
they can click on that and they will see comments there's also light and dark mode there at the bottom as well so it doesn't really matter whether you're a, a, a web sorry a pc user or a mac user um it definitely it works really really well and also just to let you know about live i'll go into live demo mode now so hopefully that works so uh, as a, as the host i then get this on the screen here so it says that ian is joining i know that somebody is in the green room waiting to come in so i hope that all makes sense it's going to come off live demo mode i hope that answers your question ben a uh, great question um uh and ben says sorry uh was late to the stream it's it's not good enough ben you know all you need to do is go to confident.live forward slash subscribe definitely check that out it is awesome and i'd love to know what you think ben um it's definitely definitely easy Fabulous. Well, that is the end of the show. As I said, um, all you need to do if you want to subscribe to the podcast is go to iag.me forward slash podcast. And uh, I would love to lo love love that if you could do that. It would be awesome. But that is the end of the show. Until next time, I encourage you to level up your impact, authority and profits through the power of Confident Live Video. See you soon. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Confident Live Marketing Podcast with Ian Anderson Gray. Be sure to join the community at iag.me where you can continue to level up your impact, authority and profits through the power of live video. And until next time, toodaloo.